Hi traders, I'm Toots. This is Nuts and today we have a very different video and that is a balance discussion on Azumarill. We need to talk about Azumarill. I want to do this for every new Pokemon that is released. So for the question of the day, what are your thoughts on Azumarill's damage, balance, survivability, fun ability? <laughs> I'd love to know in the comments down below. For those who haven't bought Azumarill and they don't know if they should or not, this video should help you decide if you want to spend 10,000 coins on this Pokemon, which is a hefty price for a Pokemon. So if you want to spend your precious coins on this Pokemon, just, you know, give this video a listen or read the comments down below. It should help you decide. Just a disclaimer, this is based on the first day of Azumarill's release. It could change in the future. I have no idea yet about competitive play. We don't know how Azumarill is going to do in competitive play, especially in the 113 meta, which a lot of people are saying it's going to counter the 113 meta. But, you know, as a solo queue player, I don't really see the 113 meta. So in the future, we'll see how that goes. Okay, moving into the topic. So first, let's talk about Azumarill's damage. In some of my games, I did really decent amounts of damage. However, I really tried very hard to be in specific situations to get the maximum output. And I also like United a lot. So Azumarill's Unite move cooldown is incredibly low. I was able to Unite move a lot, which was really, really cool. The damage was decent, even though it's like a crit based Pokemon. So basically what happens is in 1v1 situations, you always crit, but in team fights or more than one Pokemon, you will never crit. I still find myself doing decent amounts of damage however the crit damage itself wasn't like crazy like you know like maybe cinderace's crit damage or like absol crit damage like the number wise i didn't feel like i was bursting pokemon down really quickly it did feel like um i would have to constantly be using something on them and in my 1v1 fights i actually did win most of them i won a lot of my 1v1 fights however i was easily countered once an enemy teammate would help them or would try to fight me and i just could not not hit them so i was very easy to counter and I feel like as time goes on and people understand how Azumarill works I feel like they will just do that just to counter Azumarill <laughs> so that is something to think about but otherwise damage wise I did pretty decent amount of damage however it still felt underwhelming and the move play rough also feels a bit underwhelming as well I didn't feel like I did a ton of damage on that move but I don't know if I'm missing something <laughs> so I'd love to know your thoughts on that the second thing I want to talk about is survivability so survivability wise Azumarill felt pretty squishy but the build that I have been running is Buddy Barrier, Muscle Band and Scope Lens. This is the build that I like the most so far on Azumarill. So with this build I did feel pretty squishy. I felt like the enemy team could take me out really quickly if they focused me. So I do think they could probably like increase the healing of this Pokemon maybe. I don't know but survivability wise I did feel a little bit squishy. <laughs> the third thing I want to talk about is how fun this Pokemon is. So I will say despite it feeling a bit underwhelming this Pokemon is incredibly fun. I had a lot of fun playing Azumarill. It's not for everyone's play style of course but for my play style I really liked it. I really really enjoyed it. It felt nice to be in these 1v1 situations. I felt like I was I don't know I felt really competitive <laughs> in these 1v1 situations and the Unite move how low the cooldown is it is really nice that I can use it a lot more often than other Pokemon. As another Pokemon you have to like be a bit more careful when you use it. You don't want it to be down when Zapdos comes up but with Azumarill it was up so often I think I used it like four times four or five times in a match and I, that's a lot for me <laughs> So that was really cool. So for fun wise, I do recommend playing this Pokemon if you know you don't really care too much about like how it's doing in the meta or etc. But how fun it is, then I do find this Pokemon incredibly fun. Okay, the fourth thing is buffs and nerfs. I do think this Pokemon probably needs a buff. Not like a crazy buff though. I don't think it's like horrible or anything like that. And of course I don't want it to be like Darulodon levels because Darulodon was insane. But I do think it could use maybe like a slight buff or so. Maybe to its survivability honestly I think it might benefit from the survivability maybe play rough also needs a buff but then again this is just the day one balance discussion just on my thoughts and impressions at the moment I do think it could use a buff what do you think trainers I'd love to know I don't want it to be OP that's not what I want the last thing I want to talk about is the issue that I think Azumarill will have and that is I feel like it's niche I feel like it's a niche Pokemon the problem is is that it's based on 1v1 
one scenarios and of course you find yourself in 1v1 scenarios right but I do feel that as I said earlier once people catch on on how Azumarill works it is incredibly easy to counter I do find that this game Pokemon Unite is so team fight heavy you have so many contested points you have Dreadnought you have Zapdos you have Rotom all of those points are contested in a 10 minute game you're gonna be in a lot of team fights even when you're jungling I mean of course you can try and catch you know other players who are by themselves but even when you're jungling you rotate to a lane there's gonna be like two enemies at least in the lane sometimes you'll see someone by themselves out of position etc like you rely on enemies being out of position or away from their team it's really difficult to say because I find this game to be very team fight orientated as much as solo queue really just likes to remind us that people just don't want to gather here still it, I think it should be that people are together and at Zapdos, which is the biggest team fight of them all, what I did in my gameplay was I tried to go for single targets, but it is very, very hard if they have teammates that actually help them peel, which means like get me off them so that is something to think about the damage at the moment for Azumarill is like not enough exactly for me to be like hey this Pokemon does so much damage it's fine that it has no team fight presence um it still has team fight presence but it just you know you probably could get more out of another all-rounder that will deal a lot more damage in team fights or like you know Serena can isolate a target Charizard's Unite move is something you just don't want to mess with Lucario is Lucario you know what I mean so yeah I would really like to hear your thoughts thoughts on Azumarill. I don't think it's a horrible Pokemon based on day one impressions. I do find it a bit underwhelming. I don't think it's a bad Pokemon. It's definitely not OP. I think it could use a bit of a buff in my opinion for now. That's what I think. And for the last thing we're going to talk about is should you buy as in Maril. This really depends on what you value. If you look at some gameplays, I have a gameplay on my channel. There's also a gameplay footage in the background. If you look at these gameplays and you're like, wow, this Pokemon looks fun. I want to play it. Then yes, buy it. But it's good to just really keep note that it's not the strongest right now. It's decent but it's not like absolutely insane or anything. I would say like it probably is more on the balance side. However, it is still very early to tell what it exactly sits on a tier If I had to put it on a tier list like right now, I would say maybe high C, low B, maybe. I'm not sure. Like I said earlier, it's only been like my first day of games with Azumarill and that is really not enough time to really see how it develops because we still have to wait until how people react to it and stuff. However, I do feel feel like it needs a buff so maybe Pokemon Unite will give it a buff at some point. I don't think it's gonna get nerfed. It doesn't seem insanely powerful. It does seem a bit underwhelming. It kind of feels like Trevenant slash Aegislash release levels I would say and Trevenant and Aegislash weren't recepted as OP or anything like that or crazy strong but I would say it's around those levels not Blastoise, Greedent or Derulodon levels <laughs> just definitely like those levels but I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below let me know subscribe and click the bell to be notified for more videos just like this one I hope this balanced discussion helps you have more insight on how Azumarill is at the moment but we're gonna see how it does I'll catch you for the next one trainers 